What's up, Rich Squad? Guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new, if you're not subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button. Help the channel get to 4K subscribers. Like the road to 4K has been a really hard one. Match day 23 of the 2017. 2018 English Premier League Liverpool versus Man City and all nine other English Premier League match day 23 fixtures. I will be giving you all the predictions for these matches. You know, the season is winding down. Guys, only 16 games to go. Only 16 is crunch time for a lot of teams. You know, and it's the January transfer window and a lot of teams will be looking to make sign-ins offload players in order, you know, to stay up and in order to qualify for Champions League football and all that good stuff. Guys, if you're interested in copying a Rich Squad, you know, t-shirt or Rich Squad merchandise, the link will be in the description box down below. So, um, Liverpool versus Manchester City. This is arguably the biggest match of this weekend, um, the match, the 23 fixtures, you know, this is the match that you want to watch for sure, for sure, for sure. So, um, the first, the, 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 the return, the return match, match day four that was played between these two teams, Liverpool got the ass beaten really bad. 5-0 thrashing by Manchester City. Liverpool went down to 10 men early on in the match. When Sadio Mane, you know, high boot was, you know, got into the face of Edison and he was sent off. Very, very controversial red card there. But um, Edison got his face smashed up by Mane. And it cost Liverpool the game, man. 5 0. Liverpool will be out for revenge. Definitely. All the Liverpool fans I meet at work, they're like, oh man, oh man, we're coming for you. With Mohamed Salah on fire with the signing of Virgil van Dijk, you know, and a lot of players actually, you know, warming up and, you know, playing well. Liverpool will be a formidable opponent for Man City, who I think has lost a little bit of steam. You know, they're not blowing teams away five and six and seven goals anymore, but um, they're still winning. They're still winning. Only drop what? Four points all season so um man city are going into the game as favorites but it's an away match for them it's at anfield and it's gonna be a, a challenge it's gonna be a challenge for pep guardiola and his man city troops but for this match for team news um my 11 will actually be edison and goal walker right back otamendi center half I'm actually going to put Mangala in as the second center back um, because John Stones, man, the last two matches, terrible mistakes leading to goal. A lot of people are saying Mangala has to be blamed too, but I don't think so. John Stones is the man committing the crime and I think he deserves a rest. Sit on the sideline, you know, you know, get, get your um, composure back together because that injury layoff really affected... Um, John Stones. Um, left back, I want Fabian Delft to slot right back in. One of the most underrated players in the Premier League and in England right now. But he's doing very well this season. Fernandinho, just above the center halves in the central defensive midfield position. Um, Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva in the middle. Over on the right... Raheem Sterling will face his former club, Liverpool. That would be a really good contest there. And, you know, in the up front center, half, um, center forward position, Sergio Aguero, who scored one of those goals in the 5-0 thrashing of Liverpool early on in the season. Over on the left-hand side, we will see Leroy Sané. He scored twice in that 5-0 match. So... Definitely expect Pep Guardiola to, um, to field a very strong um, 11. Coming off the bench in this match, I would expect to see Bernardo Silva, Ilkay Gundawan, or either um, Danilo or Brahim Diaz. One of these guys could get a look in um, off the bench. For Liverpool, team news. 
who I think will start for Liverpool, they, they either play a 4-3-3 formation or a 4-2-3-1 formation. But I think they're going to go in with a 4-3-3 similar to Man City's um, formation. In the back, you know, Jurgen Klopp always, you know, switches his goalkeepers. It's either Minule or Klavan. I'm going to say Minule is going to be in the goal for this one. And for center half, the 75 million pound defender just moving from Southampton, Virgil van Dijk, scored a winner versus Everton in that um, FA Cup match. Joel Matip um, over Clavin and Lovren. I think Joel Matip should slot in right there, right back. Um, Joe Gomez, I think he will utilize him in that position. Left back, I think he would use Robertson. You could see the Milner or Alexander Arnold slotting, you know, into one of those fullback positions. But I'm just letting you know who I think will play in those positions. In the CDM position, more more defensive midfielder position, Genie Wijnaldum, I think he would um he would play there. He scored the only goal in Liverpool's last win versus Manchester City, I think in the 2016-17 season. And for the two midfielders, I would think Adam Lallana and Oxley Chamberlain, the former Arsenal man, will slot right in. The three up front will be Sadio Mane on the left, Roberto Firmino in the middle, you know, centre forward, and African player of the year, Mohamed Salah over on the right hand side. That's going to be, uh, oh man, this is going to be a match. We have Dominic Solanke, Clavon, Lovren, um, James Milner, Alexander Arnold, I think, could actually come off the bench. Head to head, head to head, these two teams have played 158 matches all together with Liverpool winning 74, Man City winning 42, and 42 of these games ending in a draw. The last five Premier League results for these two teams have been 5-0 win for Manchester City, 1-1 draw between, you know, these two teams, 1-0 win for Liverpool, a 3-0 win for Liverpool, and a 4-1 win for Liverpool. So before that 5-1 drubbing, Liverpool actually had the advantage over Manchester City. So uh, it's going to be a really mouth-watering contest. I can't wait to watch this match on Sunday. But, you know, it can go any which way, man. This could be Man City's first loss of the season. I'm not counting it out. Tannis said they're actually going to lose. Tannis, what's your scoreline for this, though? What's your scoreline? So Tannis said Man City is going to score two. Liverpool will score three. I'm actually going to give the opposite um, prediction for this. I'm actually predicting a 3-2 win for Man City. But guys, best believe there are going to be goals in this match. There's going to be a lot of goals. It's either going to be a lot of goals in this match or there ain't going to be any goals at all or very few goals. But I think there's going to be a, a lot of goals. It's going to be a thriller. Um, each team can also cancel each other out with a draw. But I'm leaning more towards a Man City win. But um, for the next fixtures, guys, these are actually the return legs from match day four early on in the season. So for the other match predictions, I'm going to, you know, let you know the predictions right now. Um, as I just predicted, first place Man City versus... Fourth place, Liverpool. Man City currently on 62 points. Liverpool on 44 points. Last match between these two teams early on in the season was a 5-0 win for Man City. I'm predicting a 3-2 win for Man City again. Um, Crystal Palace currently 14th in the Premier League on 23 points versus 7th place Burnley on 34 points. The last match between these two teams was a 1-0 win for Burnley. I'm actually going to be predicting a 2-1 win for Burnley. Guys, let me know your predictions down below. Is anyone out there on, the, on YouTube doing a better, you know, preview than this? No, it's, it's for real, for real. Come on. Give props when it's due. How does feel 11th on 24 points versus West Ham 15th on 
22 points. The last match between these two teams was a 2 0 win for West Ham United. But in this match, I'm going to be predicting a 2 2 draw between David Wagner's men and, of course, um, David Moyes' men. So um, it's going to be a really good match. It, it can go any way, but a draw sounds pretty good for these two teams right now. Good results for both teams. Newcastle 13th on 22 points versus Swansea City 20th, bottom of the table on 16 points. The first match was a 1-0 win for Newcastle. I'm going to be predicted a 1-1 draw between these two teams. Swansea need points, but they will be happy with the one point as well. West Bromwich Albion 19th on 16 points versus Brighton 12th on 23 points. First match was a 3-1 win for Brighton over at Albion. I'm going to be predicting a 1-0 win for Brighton in this match. 10th place Watford on 25 points versus 17th place Southampton on 20 points. First fixture was a 2-0 win for Watford. I'm going to be predicting a 3-1 win for Watford as well. Southampton will continue to struggle. They keep selling their best players and it's, it's proven to be very costly for the Saints. Um, Chelsea third on 46 points versus Leicester City eighth on 30 points. This is another big match this weekend. I'm going to... Um, a matter of fact, the first match between these two teams early on in the season was a 2-1 win for Chelsea. I'm going to be predicting a nil-nil draw for this match. I don't predict a lot of nil-nil draws, but I'm going to be predicting a nil-nil draw. Chelsea and Arsenal played to a nil-nil draw in their last game, so it's quite possible. So um, Tottenham Hotspur, fifth on 41 points. Everton, um, ninth, 27 points. Spurs won the first match between these two teams, 3-0. Um, I'm going to be predicting a 4-1 win for Tottenham. They're going to beat um, Everton. You know, they're going to embarrass them. So um, the next match, Bournemouth 16th on 21 points versus Arsenal 6th on 39 points. It was a 3-0 win for Arsenal in the first match. I'm going to be predicting a 1-1 draw for these teams. Arsene Wenger's team is currently, you know, going through a slump right now. A lot of transfer rumor talk. Players getting transferred. So the club is in a little bit of a um, you know, mini crisis right now, we must say. Oh, a big crisis for the Arsenal fans. Um, the next fixture, Man United, second place um, on 47 points versus Stoke City, 18th on 20 points. The first fixture was a 2-2 draw. Remember those two goals that Eric Maxim Trooper Moting scored? Oh man, I can remember that like it was yesterday. But I'm going to be predicting a 3-0 win for Man United. I will really like to see another draw, but come on guys. I think Man United is going to destroy Stoke City who currently, you know, who um, recently fired their manager, Mark Hughes. I don't even know if they appointed a new manager yet, but um, expect them to lose. They're on 18, 20 points and they will continue to sink. Will Stoke get relegated this season, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. So that's all the fixtures for match day 23 of the 2017-18 English Premier League this weekend. I hope it's going to be awesome. I will be doing reaction videos for some of these matches as well. So look forward for those. If you're new to the channel, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell next to it to become part of the notification squad. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Try to get this video to at least 25 likes, guys. And um, if you're interested in getting Red Squad merchandise, there's a link in the description box down below. Support the, you know, the whole Rich Squad, Dominic Rich movement. But guys, until next time, I would like to say thanks for watching this video. Good luck to all the teams on Match Day 23. I hope Man City destroys Liverpool. And until next time, guys, I would like to say peace out and Rich Squad.